literally some news came out today that's very exciting. So Crunchyroll and Funimation are finally combining. I knew this was going to happen. Like, I been knew this was going to happen. Especially when it got announced that Sony was buying Crunchyroll. Because already at the time, Sony owned Funimation. So it was inevitable that they were going to combine. I just wasn't sure how they were going to do it. I wasn't sure if they were going to go over, go under like a new name. Like, if they were going to make a whole big new rebranding. But it looks like what they're mainly doing is... Basically, Funimation is basically just getting all shipped and hauled to Crunchyroll, and Crunchyroll's become the parent, like the main streaming site between the two, which it makes more sense because Crunchyroll does have the bigger catalog of anime, and Crunchyroll at the time it is now, it's kind of a bigger company than Funimation when it comes to like probably with subscriptions and stuff like that. It makes way more sense, especially a business decision for them to just go with Crunchyroll because like I'm pretty sure they have more subscriptions and they have more anime. It would make way more sense. But, like, it's interesting that they're going this route because basically they're phasing Funimation out slowly. So, Funimation might not exist in the next few years, maybe. I'm not sure if they're going to eventually get rid of the app. I'm not sure. But it's just because, especially because what they're doing, because all the anime that's on Funimation right now is getting moved over to Crunchyroll throughout the, the month of March. And by literally May, by April of the spring season, it's going to be basically all on there, basically. That's like from what I've read. Because like literally when the spring season drops, literally all the anime I was going to be on Funimation for the new spring season is all airing on Crunchyroll. So like it's nuts. So spring season already, if you know, is already nuts. Because I made a, I've, I made a TikTok about that. I made have made a video about that too, but or whatever. But yeah, it's nuts. There's so much anime that's coming out in the spring, and it's crazy to think that it's all going to be on fun on Crunchyroll. I mean now, so basically all seasonal anime is going to all be on Crunchyroll. So if you have a Funimation account. I know they said that they're slowly but surely like implementing like ways that you can transfer it over, log in into Crunchyroll, stuff like that, and even like keep your watch list throughout the month. Probably in the next coming of weeks, there'll be information about that. And I guess they're sending emails and stuff like that too. So if you have Funimation, you might as well get close to, I'll say, wait a little bit until that email that they're talking about comes out, then cancel your subscription and like you might as well transfer it over to Crunchyroll because there's a lot of anime that's on Crunchyroll that wasn't on Funimation. But now that they're combining, bro, there's so much anime, bro. It's about to be crazy. Like, I'm really excited for that because, especially for me, because I pay for both. I pay for both. So, like, now I only have to pay for one, which I'm happy again. I only have to pay one bill again because I ended up picking Funimation up, like, a few years ago while I still had Crunchyroll. So, it's I'm happy about that. So now I only have to pay one bill. That's Liddy. And the other thing I'm kind of happy about is that when it comes to seasonal anime, it's all going to be in one place. So now if I have to watch something on Netflix or if I have to watch on a pirate anime site, I can do that separately. But all the stuff that's from Funimation is finally going to be on Crunchyroll. And bro, I'm so excited about that. The other thing I'm excited for is that... So take, let's take this new game right here. So back in the day when Crunchyroll and Funimation had that partnership, one of the things they did was when they dropped anime Blu-rays, they dropped them. Like they had like this, I don't know if you can see it right now, if it focused or not, but like it has like this thing right here where it has the Crunchyroll logo and the Funimation logo. So I'm hoping that now we can get hella anime on Blu-ray now, especially because like on Crunchyroll, there's only been certain ones they put out. Like if they had a dub of it, they might put it out. But now that they have they have Funimation, I'm just like, yes, they should. We should hopefully get a lot of more anime on Blu-ray. Like, I'm so excited because there's so many anime that came out the past few years on Crunchyroll that's not on Blu-ray in the U.S. But I'm happy that we should be, hopefully, because fun. if you know Funimation, they literally drop a lot of anime on Blu-ray. And I can't wait because there's so much in that catalog. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they do like how they did back in like 2017 or whatever that was when they did that. Because like, bro... I, there's so many anime I want on Blu-ray now that I'm hoping we can own and like if you're wondering like how this is different from like 2017 The main difference between those is back then it was a partnership This one is basically they're merging and like it's a way bigger merger and like basically Crunchyroll is becoming the parent company and in a way I know I might be using the wrong terms But it's basically become the parent company or the main company and Funimation is slowly but surely just being merged into it until Funimation might not exist as a streaming app that's what it kind of seems like, but I'm not sure. Mainly because they're not really getting no new anime. If all the seasonal anime is coming on Crunchyroll starting in spring and April, then it's like maybe they're phasing Funimation out slowly but surely. But they might still be there for like, they ha probably have their website for like selling merchandise and stuff like that and Blu-rays. But they might not be a streaming website, maybe. They might still have it, but I don't think it's going to be anything new since everything's getting pushed towards Crunchyroll and they're basically combining. But yeah, it's really exciting. I'll probably have a video out sometime next week talking about what I, I'm looking forward to because there's a few things I'm hoping 
that with them, with, especially with Crunchyroll, because I've had my, you know, if you know me, I've made videos about like Funimation and Crunchyroll about the problems I've had with their streaming site. I'm hoping with them combining and then pushing all this anime over here that they fix their website. And I'm going to go into detail in that video whenever I make it because like there's so much I'm hoping they do because there's so much now that it's like you're literally they're literally the biggest anime streaming site in in well in the u.s or whatever wherever else they are like they're really the biggest one out here so it's like bro they literally have no competition no more like yeah netflix is getting stuff yeah even disney's getting a few things and yeah you still have high dive and like hulu was basic majority of hulu stuff was literally funimation stuff so it's like there's really no competition we don't even count prime video so their biggest competition is kind of high dive and Netflix because High Dive has a lot of titles like a lot of Sentai titles, but it's like it's not really that close anymore Especially because Crunchyroll and Funimation are combined. So it's like by now they should improve their streaming site I'm hoping bro. I'm really hoping bro Like I really hope they take the time to like actually look at all these streaming sites Like especially like what Netflix does with the with the number with the matches and percentage Like I'm just hoping I know they they literally have been working on stuff because they literally have this crunchy list Which is interesting where you can put like certain anime in the list and that's a that's a different way That's something different and it's interesting because now you can put certain anime in certain lists and all that that way you can make a watch list way easier than what they had before so it's gonna be interesting like i'm happy about that and it's just like crazy to think that wow they're combined now i know this is kind of like another thing to combat now they like, now if you pirate anime there's really no reason for you if you watch a lot of the anime that comes on crunchyroll if you're pirating it it's like now that funimation and crunchyroll are together it's like you might as well give it a chance now especially because but I'm not saying you have to pay, but it's just like that's kind of what they're doing. They're combating piracy because it's like with them combined, it's like you're only paying for one bill for all of this anime. This is like a lot of anime to watch. It's like, yeah, you can go to different pirate anime sites, but it's just like this is like, bro, you can watch this on your TV now. So it's interesting. Like I said, I'm very excited because like I said, I've been using them. I do have my problems with Crunchyroll and Funimation, but it's interesting to see where the future is with these two because like this is very early on. I am happy that they're doing this now because imagine if they would have... And, like, I'm also happy that Attack on Titan is streaming now that, because, you know, what happens is, like, when Crunchyroll gets stuck, Crunchyroll and Funimation, whenever Attack on Titan, especially, like, when the first episode was airing this year, like, literally the websites are crashing. So, I'm happy they're doing this now that hopefully by the time Bleach and whenever Chainsaw Man comes out that they are okay and we don't have, like, a website crash, especially since all the new anime is coming on Crunchyroll now. So, yeah. So, let me know how you feel about this. Are you excited? Or do you not care? Is it a good, you think it's not a good idea? Are you like wondering where this is going to go? I did make a poll like earlier in the day. And like I know most of the majority of the people either said they don't care or they are excited. So just let me know because it's going to be interesting for me because now I'm only doing Crunchyroll watch lists because like Funimation is basically dead now. Like especially with all this new anime is only going on Crunchyroll, which is very interesting. So we'll see it. We'll see what happens like with Verb too because like Verb's probably going to get reamped too. We'll see what happens with Verb. I'm not sure what's going to happen with that, especially because it's not going to ha I'm pretty sure High Dive is gone from Verb by now, but it's very interesting what's going to happen. But yeah, let me know how you feel about this merger. Just let me know because I am curious how other people. Let me know. Are you going to pick up Crunchyroll now? Let me know if you had a Funimation account like right now like before you've been using Funimation let me know how do you feel about the transition are you like mad that you have to transition to Crunchyroll now or are you happy because like there's so much anime because like I said Crunchyroll has a lot of anime but now that you're adding Funimation there's so much anime now but yeah if you're new why not subscribe if you like Funimation and Crunchyroll stuff why not subscribe if you enjoyed the video why not like if you didn't you could dislike subscribe if you really enjoyed but yeah, like I said, leave me leave a comment and let me know how you feel about this merger because I really am curious because like I said, I'm interested. Like I said, I honestly have been using both of these for a pretty long time. I've used Funimation for a long time, like the free part for a super long time. Then I eventually started paying for it and I used Crunchyroll for so much long. And I even used Crunchyroll a little bit for the free with the horrible ads that they had. It's interesting now. I'm kind of, like I said, I'm happy. Like I said, I have had my problems, like I said earlier in the video, but I am happy though. But yeah, if Thank you for watching, and it's going to be interesting to see where this goes in the future. And like I said, I might drop another video about, like, what I want to see them do because I'm hoping they implement certain things. We'll see, though, because Crunchyroll sometimes doesn't care about their app as much as they do, but I'm hoping they do now. But, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.